back in the day the year 2019 umetumia 90000 a whole month hiyo ndilo umetumia na pombe hujahesabu ya kukula hujahesabu ya taxi if we had proper brains at least we would have saved something today we'd be saying that bana ikala kapasatu unaona pale ni yangu but it never happened during my drinking time in dubai most of the times singe maliza a whole month being a healthy person ba ikafika mahali mpaka wale wahindi wenyewe hospitali wakasema from my friend stop drinking this thing is the one is making you to come here every now and then na hizi barua za kukupatia leave sheet tumekupatia enough sisi hatutaki hii michezo uko nayo my wife first uh, saw me she was really very shaken she did believe that is the same person who left he's come back with scratches all over his face he's come back with nothing he's come back drunk uh, she was really very shaken Uh, my name is Lawrence Nyaganjwe. I am an Ambian, Kenyan actually. I am a family man. I have uh, three children, uh, boys. I have a wife, a very loving wife. I'm a marketer by profession and basically most of it all is about my journey through addiction, my journey to recovery and finding my way back, going back to the real because I had missed a mark somewhere. We uh, kunywa jwa pombe. It didn't just start yesterday or today. Well, uh, it's been a while because the better part of my life has been has been in alcoholism. We kunywa jwa pombe, and I remember uh, my mother herself. She's the one who introduced me to the flow of cash, because uh, when I was in class eight, she I would run her business. She's a she is a businesswoman. Uh, she would leave me in a business in a shop. I now run the all the the the, the, the transactions I do the purchasing and uh, when I went to form 1 I was good performer in school actually si kwa mtu bongolala tukulalia lalia masikio in fact the teachers used to like me very well I had a good name but I went to form 1 things started changing now life has changed I'm in a boarding school uh, things are not the way they used to be when I was at home pale nyumbani nilikuwa nashikashika tu mapesa nilikuwa nakula vile nataka because we had a lot of uh, chicken the layers so my eye pale ilikuwa ni kama kitu ya kawaida kwa kila kila uh, kila time so uh, nikiwa second second form nikaona masomo sasa hata isaidi there is no happiness hapa shule kazi ni mingi we are sleeping late we are waking up very early and like the way things used to be at home so nika decide hapana hii ngoma mwacha ikae i don't want it anymore sasa and uh, i remember i sneaked out of school so mimi nikaenda home kwenda home uh, kajaribu ku explain kajaribu ku explain to eat to wongo wongo so wongo didn't start at the wakati nilianza kunywa pombe ilianza hiyo time so kupeana wongo nika imagine going back to school and get another six kids nikaona hapana hiyo shule stacks i am informed too ah kidogo kidogo nikamwambia mzazi mimi masomo a a kajaribu kunifuata wapi ananifuata wapi nishaingia mitaa mm? niko na maarif mabeshti tumeanza sasa kuenda enda kuenda enda narudi home very late at night when i'm sure we've slept i come the following morning i'll leave very early in the morning natoka mapema sana now where, do, where am i going to i'm going to the shopping center the shopping center see if there's anything good that nenda kufanya ni mchezo mchezo tu so it happened that mianza kuona marafiki ambao they're not the very best company they're just a bad company ambapo walikuwa naenda enda na marori kuchukua mchanga ya kujenga hii concern ya for construction so nika team up now tukaanza shughuli za kuendea mchanga kurudi kuendea mchanga kurudi so ikakuwa kwangu it's becoming a little bit too hectic sabu i'm not used to this kind of job it's manual it's very manual so it being very manual nika opt again to step aside na kuachana na hiyo kazi because nilisikia tu inaniumiza but during hizo siku kadhaa nilikuwa naenda na hawa majamaa kuna there is a karoko blue kana tengezo kanaitwa karobo yeah it's made of honey and some some sugar canes some kind of stuff nikama kajuo so i had got introduced kuonja onja hiyo kitu 
So nikasikia bado kuna vile nikionja kuna vile kastimu kana pana nasikia ah manzenzo hivi vile nasikia hiyo feeling si mbaya sana. And I used to get some little coins here and there. So after ku step aside ikakuwa ah home sasa nobody wants to hear about my story. Remember nime nime terminate mambo ya shule so mimi niko pale home. So I need to get money to survive. Getting money to survive, getting money to go for jam sessions and all those kind of things because I've been used to money now I need money. And how do I get money? Sasa so, sinikaanza kuchukua chukua tu vitu kama moja kama moja pale home na peana kwa mtaa. Jamaa kuna jamaa. And it's a draw a price. Just need a 50 shillings to do my things. Go eat a loaf, go take some tea somewhere. So, it happened that kulibi wa home there was some kind of theft. And uh, sasa kadbret ni nani hapa this guy who mwenye amekataa shule because he can you is a thief who ndiye ameiba so my friend kupigwa pigwa hapo home kupigwa pigwa by my brother na rafiki zake toys vitu uliuza wapi ulifanya niambia no it's not me i know nothing about this in fact wakasema no ah ah huyu apelekwa kwa chief apelekwa kwa chief hapo kupelekwa kwa chief mboko mboko nyaunyo nyaunyo and everybody at home alikuwa me give up na mimi alikuwa amesema hapana this is not the person that we need in this family huyu anatuletea aibu because we had a good name in the village you can imagine that very very setup ya ya home kwetu we had we were the first family kukuwa na tv ka tv ka black and white ilikuwa sanyo so you can imagine all the villagers walikuwa wanakuja kuona news pale hii ni tv ilikuwa inafunguliwa sa station inafunguliwa saa tisa mchana the yeah, national anthem eh you know you know the national anthem so you can, you can imagine who you mtoto ambaye what what in the village walikuwa wanakuja kwao is become a thief ikapelekwa kwa chief kupelekwa kwa chief after kupigwa pigo nikaekelea jamaa rafiki yangu nasema tuliiba na nani sasa nikaona hapa hapo imekuwa ni mbaya and in fact wakati nilisema hivyo it became worse tukapelekwa police station kupelekwa station station from station koti from that tulipelekwa majimbo 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 remand JK prison ndio mpaka tukubali from there sasa ni kotini majimbo kotini ivo 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 ikafika mahali ikakuwa imekuwa too too much for me and still not of kuna that uh, parental love hiyo parental love my mother akaenda akaenda kwa uh, the probation officer Ah uh, nikauliza are you ready to go back to school ama unataka kuenda kukaa jela sasa hapo ni option gani bana hapa si sita kuizi jela kuna chawa one thing ni kuchafu chakula ni ile eh, unayekewa na mkebe mwingine hapo ilikuwa inaitwa mororo yani kind of a mkebe around eh alafu kaugari kako hapa chini alafu unadungwa supu ya supu ya mboga ma, masukuma sukuma kipisi kikubwa eh, mafuta unachotoa na kakijiko chironi I, ma, maisha mbaya yani bad life So mimi nikaop tukobago kwa kusema nitarudi shule. So condition ilikuwa every month lazima man niende kwa probation officer once. Probation officer once ku report. Sio kwa chief ama anything kwa probation officer. So probation officer alikuwa anataka kujua progress ya shule. So I have to be in school. Nikamaliza shule 97 na after kumaliza shule sasa nikaona sasa amini ule mse sasa nimemaliza shule na hapa in between nilikuwa nimeonja onza kapombe nikaomba Mungu sana because uh, nilitamani sana kukuwa na independence yangu so nika shift from embu ushago nikakuja tu mayango in Nairobi mayango in Nairobi tukakakana mayani ko hapo karibu kulikuwa na shuka ka shule kalikuwa kanitwa Torrens Academy na hii Torrens Academy kulikuwa na msichana mmoja msupa so nikaanza eh kutafuta tafuta mbinu hapa kule hapa kule ah msichana kaingia box na after kuingia box story ni aje sasa tukaendelea na uh, our love that was 98 99 hapo so in the year 2000 kwa, kwa hiyo shule shule ilikuwa ni ya mama yake ikapen walimu wamego walimu wamego slow na kufunza so wanatafuta mtu anaweza shikilia nikauliza si by the way unaweza chukua kaka squad at least utushikilie kidogo um, kabla tupate walimu wengine nikasema very well homba kuna kitu nafanya so mimi job hapa naweza chapa nikaanza kufunza na by the way nikafunza na nikafunza na nikafunza na nika stick nikakuwa mpaka nimekuwa head eh yeah, nimepewa position sasa nimekuwa head and uh, hapa silipi nyumba tu hakuna chakula na nilinataftana nayo 
three na pewa mtara. So being paid, I had all the money, money, all the money that I used to be given, niangu. Yeah, it's my money, so I can use it the way I want. And earning money without a purpose, without a purpose in your mind, it's very dangerous, it's risky. This money will divert you to something else and it will give you a purpose. So I really uh, desire to have fun. Have fun with friends, I could see neighbors, walk into a club, walk into a bar. And that's how I started slowly by slowly. I would purchase a, at least a bottle of alcohol, but hiding with a lot of fear. Later in life, after a few months, I gained confidence. I was given the responsibility of even adding extracurricular activities, taking children for trips and all that. So I had some cash, cash flow in, on me. So drinking was uh, uh, not a matter of asking questions. It's a matter of walking into a club and eating and life went on like that. Little did I know that it was taking me to a ditch. And the year 2002, um, Shule Ili performed very well. I used to teach Swahili and CRE. So, performance Ika Kuwa Ju, Wazazi Waka gain confidence in Aujama because my Kiswahili, my students got A's. You can imagine. Wame piga A's. So, Wazazi Waka Ata Zingi Wana Piga Katipu. Ingine ni, ni Askari Jesu, so they would invite me into a club. And... Kanyuwa kaminyuwezo kakaendelea. Kinyuwa ji nikapiga, 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 nikapiga. In the meantime, nikuwa pale, nikafikiria now, I used to admire a lot. Hii mambo ya gari ziko branded. Eh, hey, jamani, antisha gari mefaa t-shirt imeandikuwa Cadbury's, Coca-Cola, imeandikuwa Majina, Rimara. Yeah, I really admired. I, I consulted some, a few people. Can MBS, you can you do sales and marketing. Siku rudi nyuma, I joined a college, in the city, I uh, did and marketing. I did a diploma, ICM, Institute of Commercial Management. And immediately after that, I can to apply jobs. God is so grateful. Your God is so good. Kumbuka, now I've already uh, joined Ulevi Kapisa Kapisa. I've already Ulevi uh, real time, full scale. So I have to classes that actually perform. I have to visuri. I have to apply jobs. God is grateful. Mi kwangu, mi najua mungu wanadipenda. And he's so grateful. Na ndiyo kumana siyezi muachilia. Mi nikapata job ingine, job mzuri sasa ya sales. Na company na jita Mountain Top Publishers. Nika kwa the only salesman in Nairobi area. Sasa nikiwa salesman in Nairobi area, tunadili na vitabu za watoto wandongo ni kutafuta those schools that is kona to graduations, nini, nini, uh, finding bookshops, doing market penetration, going, going to Tuskies, yeah, you see those big shops. Ah, my friend, I get just like a pataki bully, that ego, yeah, to, of being a salesman. But still, kwa royangu, nezema, I'm not comfortable. Mbaka ni pata kagari na endesha, nikiwa kama salesman. So, after some time, I started applying for another job. But now, during this, all this time, I'm working with the mountain top publishers every day in the evening. Name it, kukunywa. In fact, there is a kablan, ka, ka, ka I think, Kenya King or something, before I get seated, kabla ni kariye kiti, ni kwa nakapika tiflash, napika touch. Eh, mini ule msi, ni yeke kando, alafu sasa ndi unikaya, tuweze kubo, tuweze kubonga, sasa tuweze kushare na hama, maarifu, wengine. So, walikuwa, walikuwa na jua, 7.30, 8 hapo, mini shafika mta, mingi hapo. In fact, the seller, a lady called June, alikuwa na nitia mbali, ya nimbia, hey, umekuja. So, before I got to Mount Etop, I had gotten a brand name, Headmaster, yeah? In fact, that's a issue. Can I Who is headmaster? Ah, headmaster. Either Mwangalia Chini, I'm a size you Mwangalia. That was the brand name that I had. In fact, that was Atawa Leo. Nikitembea to Mutota Skaze, headmaster Niaje. There are those who called me Mwalim because that name Nili Tengeneza. So I started messing up with my job through alcoholism. Now, it just turned from being a, a, a luxury yeah, to a necessity. Because I can't do without, I can't work without uh, Ipombe. I can't work with those morning, morning problems, I tapika tapika and all that. Little did I know that I was going to be a man. I was going to be a man. I was going it caused me a lot because the signs that I was going to be in the hospital, I was going to be a man. I was going to be a man. Now, I have a chance. 
to go to Dubai because my cousins, my brother, my relatives are there. So I started planning. I got a passport. I plan a visa. I got a visa. I got a visa. I remember a guy called Simon. He was a guy called I got a visa. And I got a visa, my friend. <laughs> I got so excited. I have a passport. I have a visa. I got a visa. Now knowing that I'm done with my issue in Kenya. I was told to go and say, I was Levi. I was now I want to say bye bye to all of you. And I told my friends, well done. And my, my, my wife bought me a Bible. And she said, I was going to say, 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 I was to Yes, you might be having people that you know, but you don't know how, how well they're living or they are living their, their, their lifestyle. Keep in touch with your God. Atukapanga. Siku ya kufika, siku ya kuwenda ikafika. Kufika, nikatokea, nikatafuta mati. Kutafuta mati, sasa tukona jamaa bisti yangu, nikambio, unajua sasa ni leo, masaya, saa mbili, hivi, saa tatu, boss. Mimi nitakuwa JKIA. Mtawa. Na lakini kuna, kuna wale wengine, wana, nitawa hata aje. Nitawata aje, shuali. Siyezi wata hivu. Kwa home kwa na nikakula kilanchi. Kwa yaka vitu zangu ndani ya gari. Nikatokea sasa kwa ambia majama hari. Sasa ni aje masandio ya hizo. Masazi ngine sambili satatu hapo. Oe mita kwa ni meso. Takuwa ni mesonga. Lakini ni mita ya majama si mugonge kitu. Si mugonge kitu. Basi sabu ni nikuwa na tu ganji. Nikuwa ni mechange. Tu dollars na tu diram. Pesa ya huko. So hile ilibaki change. Because I had plans. I still had plans to treat our majama. So to come here, that's a base. In case base, my dear, you are angry with me. On a mess, you can't go on. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, ah, yeah, pana. You need to join the age. You can't be familiar, sir. No, my colleague, no, my jamaa. You can't be familiar. You can't be. Ah, you can't be married. You can't be pana. I just have to be with you. You can't get it. You don't go to. You don't get it. You don't go to see, sir. Ili ya kustu wakili, nipata kwa kwa excitement. Na kwa ni excitement ilikuja, sabu nilionja, nikaongezea. Excitement ilikuja, siku taka watu homo, watu wa homo wajue sana about kama nimegonga, tukienda airport. Although, ujue pombe wezi feature, hata ukiwa five meters away hapo, niyonge, your breath, ikijaa hii room, utajua hapa kuna mulevi. It's something, something, something fishy. So, um, after kule wale wana majamani, I bought some takeaway. Nikajua sasa because daktari ya liniambia mimi ni kijaribu. Wee Lawrence ukijaribu, utadai. Nikasema wata nitampima u daktari. Nitapima hii uwezo. Sasa njua mulevi ya nakuna na akili zingine. Zingine ya ni isa game changer actually. Mulevi is a game changer. And they believe they are, they are, they, they, you can, they can play the guitar to your tune. Hile unataka ndi wata kuimbia. Eh, ndi wapate Kenya inataka. So my friend, tuka, tuka toka, watu wa familia, sisi yao, fika airport. Sasa pale kwa hile mathri tulienda nao na majama wazangu, nilikuwa na makali fulani hapo ndani. Nikana nikapiga, nikasema lasa hii napiga bila maji. Diyo nikifika kuandeka hivu daktari ya liniambia ntadai. Wata nione basi, wata mi nikufie kwa hewa. E, niko ready kuenda huko juna ni dai basi. Nikapiga. Napiga sasa ujui mechanganyika na hile ingine, sasa ulevi zimepanda, minasikia tu busy, tu ni kukutu, ni kumahari, hile. Kufika juu, after two, three hours, zikaanza kuchuka, ilikuwa mwezi wa ramadhani, ramadhani, unajua ramadhani na mwarabu wapendi pombe. That's one fact. Hawapendi, but kwa ndegi hiko, Fry Emirates, Boeing 577. Haya, mimi huyo, Nikauliza, ujua mlevi anajua kuplay, play tunes kadhaa kadhaa. Nikapanga panga wale makibe nikuruwa. Kanyambia sasa we will give you only one can. Nikambia no problem, bring it to me. Ujua sasa hawa jui kizungu mzuri, wanajua kizungu ingine hapo. <laughs> Ukikawa nao utacheka tu. Because kama hawa Filipinos, wajikua wanasema pipe. Instead of five, wanasema pipe. Vikuwa tunasumbuwa na sana. Wanda yu kampu nilikuwa nafanya job huko, haa, tulikuwa tunasumbuwa na sana. So, Ule msitana kaniletea. She was a sub-Filipino. Haka songa. Within no time. Second kidogo. Nishia maliza. Nishia finye hile bell tena. Aleta. Niungeze. Dosi. Hai. 
Sasa hapo ni kumpanga tena, kumtune, 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 kumuingisha box. Ha, akaniambia that is the last one. Nikamwambia no problem. After five hours ni jafika al maktub international airport sijakufa. Sasa huyo daktari sasa tunaona daktari hapo lakini kama alikuwa amenipanga tu yani design moja haiezi ingiana. Si mimi nimefika, kufika ah uh, my cousin akanichukua. Aya, kanipeleka mahali nilikuwa nilale because tulikuwa tume plan vizuri sana because there ukiana unafaa kuwe na okay uko na visa 30 days within those 30 days hiyo time ilikuwa una after 30 days unaweza ongezewa another 30 days kama hujamaliza ujaabu utapata job uh, but sasa niliana na visit visa visit visa mpaka niende kwa hotel ndio tulibuku mpaka hotel but si kwenda hiyo kwa hiyo hotel because kwenda kwa hiyo hotel that means uta sign utapeana mambo details mingi mingi zako tulipita njia nyuma mkato sisi hao kwa my estate na nikaanza kutafuta job within the first week within the first week mimi ha job nimepata job na international company double decker bus tours ni alanda ninajitaka the big bus tours ah the big bus wamenipatia job hiyo double decker ni bus ya gorofa nikuzungusha watalii training orientation orientation hapo a few days nishashi kanisa hiyo dubai nimeshikanisha niko na map na kufunga macho kuvumba na kuvumbua ningekutajia station zote hizo bus zitasimama ah kazi tumepewa kenya ju kenyans wanne tumepewa job mwacha waindi wengi hapo wakiangaika angaika Filipino sisi tulikuja kaa tumechorwa job because it's a British company na pale kizungu yetu Kenyans we are lucky kizungu ina flow eh yeah, nao target yao ni watu kutoka kutoka Brito Brito hivyo kutoka basic kama America Australia watu mali kizungu inakubalika na sisi tuko nayo ah my friend tukachorwa Kuchorwa job sasa ni aje sasa ni confidence kale kama sisi hizo tunafanya na tourism company ama tour guide i am a tour guide ah piga kifua sasa kupiga kifua nilikuwa naona naona majamaa wakichomoka wanarudi wakiwa hai jamaa anachomoka anarudi wakiwa hai sisi nikajua sasa hawa eh hawa wananiona nimekaa mimi nimjinga sema njogo kivaranga siku moja atawika atawika atakuwa njogo awike na mtaamuka Nika time nikaona kama mlango wanaingianga ni villas ni nyumba tu za watu ni mahali watu wanaishi but ndani yake kuna mtu anaitwa mama pima amechukua room tu vizuri kabisa ameweka sofa nzuri nzuri big screen watu wanaenda kuona bola hapo kumbe ndani kuna vitu zinatambazwa pale kuna pombe zinauzwa pombe zinauzwa anauza pombe hizo Carlsberg Nimit Kenken Nimit hizo mizinga Pombe zote za bei za hii Kenya hata mtu akiambua wale viwengi wakiambua nunua hawezi afford but that tulikuwa tuna afford nikagundua hiyo simo ha my friend kugundua bus si niko na pesa yangu niko na kafloat kutoka home na just yes, the first week this second week nishapata job i'm expecting a salary at the end of the month hii kampuni uh, if unaenda mbali walikuwa na kuchukua na van wanakupeleka so the only thing ni meeting point utoke kwenu kwa nyumba mahali unaishi wende meeting point hapo tuko tunalipa 2 dirham hiyo basi ya transport ya kwenda mpaka meeting point sasa kwenda meeting point tukaanza kufanya hii kazi ya tourism watalii nao they are very generous pesa za huko wakitoka siku kama assume unatoka airport by around after 2 1 hour or 30 minutes from now by the time uende kwa foreign exchange uanze kubadilisha anakuachia anakuachia so at the end of the day wewe ukifika jioni yeye hey, wewe unatupesa mwingine mwingine alikuwa anakuja sijui wapi amekuachia za, za Dubai amekuachia kama 50 dirham 10 dirham 20 dirham ah so chapaika kwa ni mingi ikatuka hata kutembea na mabasi tukaanza kuenda na, na taxi taxi unakasimamisha inasimama ai my friend hii kitu nilikuwa naona kwa movie kumbe inaweza kuwa real the only thing that we would do ni kuenda kwa nyumba freshen up because pale most of the time we operations manager Tony Stewart he was a good guy but sisi Africans alikuwa anatuweka nje kwa jua bana hiyo jua pale ni 40 degrees hapo ni moto moto sana so at the end of the day mpaka ungetaka uingehitaje tu uende kwa nyumba au freshen up uh, na ku after ku freshen up si ni kungara hmm? mpaka upige shine sasa na kupiga shine hiyo tu unapiga shine michezo unadunga Ferrari juu chini Eh yeah, ndonga pumba juu chini. Yaani sababu chapa ni mingi unaenda unabaki. Eh hey, my friend. 
kutoka hapo unaenda kwa mama pima kwa mama pima what are you going to do there ni kuenda kuchukua puni kukunywa unaenda kukunywa na kukunywa it's too expensive it used to be very exp- expensive i wish uh si kungefanya hivyo ama you wish turn yanga niingilie because i would be very far i would be very far you can imagine one dirham is 20 kenyan shillings one now here you have a 100 100 dirham you want to go spend it kwa mama pima that's 2000 at times you spend 3 you can imagine 30 days 30 days 30 days ama umetumia 90 back in the day the year 2019 you umetumia 90000 a whole month hiyo ndio ile umetumia na pombe hujahesabu ya kukula hujahesabu ya taxi if we had proper brains at least we would have saved something today we'd be saying that bana ikala kapasatu unaona pale ni yangu but it never happened i remember of a guy who died in a car park kabisa kabisa he was drinking dry uh, alcohol hiyo pombe kali hivi na chupa one day kukatokea mzako ya polisi ako amebeba blacks tunakimbishwa kuna vizanga zilikuwa zime happen zime happen happen na Nigerians so yeye yeah, akaona hata siku wakaingia chini ya gari akakunywa hakutoka huko chini ya gari he never survived alikunywa na vile alikunywa hata haikuisha akazima huko huko ikakuwa ni another case these blacks were well, of lazima watafutwe someone has committed suicide and kukua tu ni chaos it was just chaos life full of chaos right left and center During my drinking time in Dubai most of the times singe maliza a whole month being a healthy person. Kuna place hospital nyingine tulikuwa tunaita prime hospital hapo ndo tulikuwa tunaendanga sana sana. Hapo ikafika mahali mpaka wale wahindi wenyewe hospitali wakasema my friend stop drinking this thing is the one is making you to come here every now and then. Na hizi barua za kukupatia leave sheet tumekupatia enough. Sisi hatutaki hii michezo uko nayo. I remember of a good friend of mine nikao ni Njoro Anaisi na guru. Joro, <laughs> Joro used to stage manage some things. Na ku stage manage vitu za Joro ni wakati niko niko off. Kuna time tuli tulifanya amevunjika mkono. So, apate at least a sick of ya one week. Tukaweka bandage POP Prast of Paris, tukafunga vizuri, tukafunga vizuri, alikuwa anafanya Starbucks coffee na tukamwekea ile ile bandage ya kuhanga hapa kwa zingo so joro yeye kwenda na tukapata barua kwa hiyo hospitali ya kumpatia sick of about almost one week joro kupewa si ikakubarika za joro sasa yeye ni starehe ni kulewa 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 and at the end of the day tuliendelea na ulevi me and my four kenyans when you come to kwa the big bus company wakakuwa raid off the three of them mungu ananipenda mimi sikufutwa wakaniambia Lawrence Lawrence I know we know that it's this company that you have that is ruining you and in most cases in Kweli tulikuwa tunapotezana sababu eh tulikuwa tunalala kwa mama pima kwa viti sofa tu hivi tukilewa tukipiga story tukipiga story ile tunastukia ni saa kumi na moja hapa inaelekea kukua asubuhi ndio unatoka mbio mbio muende muoge mfreshen up mfai uniform utaenda umelala kwa taxi ukifika job we ni kusinzia tu ni kusinzia tu hao kuonekana tabia zao zimekuwa too much ukakuwa raid off ukakuwa raid off simi nikabaki kwani nita change kwani nitabadilika wapi sibadiliki waka ni lay off kundi lay off sasa what next nikutafuta mbinu za ku survive the little money that i had kwa mama pima zikaisha now here is the house you have to pay the rent sina job sina pesa kulipa rent nikashika na jamaa moja anaitwa chachi tulikuwa tunampatia nickname chachi ile chachi ile akaniambia sasa ile kitu tulikuwa nakalia sofa my friend sasa utakalia armrest utakalia armrest hii ala nikiona kama mchezo ikakuwa ni hivyo tunaambua songea customer sina kitu just move 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 ala kashindo ala kwa aje i used to be the one who is saying that i used to be the one who is buying people liquor here i am being chased out here nimedanganyana enough times mpaka wale mama pima wamechoka na mimi so um chatila kanembia do this i'll help you out sisi ni wajanja sisi ni wale wasi why can't we decide of something that we can do that can generate some income kaambia sasa aji 
Chachi lakanembia, ye ya shea anza. Nikamuliza, what have you started? I've started supplying alcohol to this mama pima. Hizi manjiba za mama pima, tumeanza kusupply pombe. So, why don't, why don't you join me? You assist me. Mimi sina kitu ya kununua na ayo, so, mimi itakuwa mtu wake wa mkono. Na tuka, nikamuambia, hapo umesema, hapo mali napata food, Nitaweza kujisqueeze mali ni niweza kudoza ni most cases tunalala kwa mama pima tukipeleka pombe tunaanza kukunywa kunywa tukishalewa lewa tunasinzia hapo hapo asubuhi nafika tutaendea pombe saa nane so ah mwezi ikaendelea ikakuwa napata dot wangu na bado sasa napata achipa lika than the one i used to buy to mama pima because now i'm naenda kwa the source eh nikaona maisha hapa iko tu sawa my friend tukasonga na maisha tukasonga na maisha tukaanza kukua very violent kupigana na Nigerians i wish you, you saw me when i came back nilikuwa na alama nilikuwa na kaa ka chui eh mara mama zebra kuguaro guaro vita eh i remember of an incident kisanga kile happened to mahali tulipigana na Nigerians eh tukiwa wale vi imali tulikuwa tunachukua a glass table una smash somebody on the head ndio uweza kupotea za bwana jamani wakubwa akikushika hivi anaweza angekukunja kunja hivi atakukunja kunja yeye utakuwa mahali mbaya so unachukua chenye karibu na wewe una bang mse so uh, siku moja kukatokea kisanga tumepiga jamaa alikuwa ana bandage kuna jamaa moja tulikuwa naye mkenya hapo alikuwa anaitwa njao alikuwa mvaurent sana akatuanisha bandage tuanisha bandage wa indi neighbors wakaanza kelele jamaa ana bleed a kuangalia tukaona mazema taa zimejaa siren za, za, za polisi ambulance ambulance kutoka, kutoka mahusi sababu zikuwa zinafuatana hivi hasa hapa hii convoy imekuja hapa ni gari za ni Mercedes BMW za, za makarawa dubs sisi tuka tukihepa makarawa kakuwa meanza kupanda kuingia kwa hiyo villa tulikuwa tunakaa second front ilikuwa ilikuwa tunakaa first na kulikuwa mpaka second alafu sasa the rooftop ilikuwa ijajengwa sasa niaje tukaenda kutoka ndio hawa so what next move ya kupotea ni gani ni kurudi juu sababu mwezi toka nje kwa gate wamejaa sababu wahindi wanasema ni pale ni wale pale juu huko ndio noma iko hey my friend sasa niaje kuna building ilikuwa next hapo na sisi tuko kwa hii tumerudi juu tumefika rooftop kidogo tunaona torches zimeanza kupana tuliruka sasa una fly from this one to the other unukimithi shauri yako. Wewe ukimithi shauri yako hapa ni Mungu saidia. Sio. Tukamanage kuingia kwa hiyo building ya Wahindi ujuu kuna mukisileki wataitana. Wanasema mko hapa tuluka tukao jamaa kadhaa mimi Robert Karomba Dominic na kulikuwa na mtu mwingine uh, Freddy. Tukateremka chini tukatoka nje tukatoka tukaenda tukajificha mahali. Tumekaa tuangalie sasa movie vile inachezwa hapo pale. Hata wa Nigeria wasiko my friend. Wacha jamaa wazikwe. Wacha jamaa wasiku. Na gari mnaenda mkiwa wawili. Polisi mabusu na polisi. Huu mmoja ni wa kuendesha nyii wawili mko huku nyuma huni wa kukujunga na wewe mabusi. Ah watu wakapsombo wakasombo. Wakienda kuiza huyu njao. Ha yes. Njao akatuambia hapana nyii hamna noma. Si nyii mko na pataka. Pataka ni kitambulisho hapa ndio ile. Si nyii mko na health. Kadimu uko tu sawa. Hawa jamaa hawana papers. Ende ni mueleze mu, mu, vile imeku. We. Kuna kufika tu. Ha, Afrika Afrika habibi tar 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 tar. tar. Sasa ni kukwambia kuja tar 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 tar. tar. Fe problem? Problem habibi. Habibi unadhibu kuelezea kuelezea mwangalia na kizungu. Anakuambia tal get in car. Ku anavunga mlango iko na child rock police. Mali ni tomara kapata police station. Mali kapata police station tukakaa kaa karibu siku kadhaa tukaajiliwa. Wale Nigerians siju kesiao ilienda aje. Sisi after kukaa after some time sasa tumepata kiburi, 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 kiburi. Mimi na chachili wangu pombe tumepeana, tumepeana, tumepeana tunaanza hapa tumeingia comfort zone. Hasa hatuwezi shikwa. Kama tujeshikwa hizo siku zote tutashikwa aje. Hey my friend tukaenda place siku moja tukaenda place inaitwa Balakuda. Balakuda huko tumeenda kuchukua pombe. Tukajaza Mitsubishi. Chachi alikuwa na license ya pande hiyo. Ka Mitsubishi kakainuka aje. Kamejaa. Kumbe CID wa pala alikuwa ametufuata fuataka kwa muda sana. 
Kuna nasinda kwa hii gari hii inakuja ka imeinuka hivi nini inakuwa imebeba. Waka find out na wakajua these guys huwa wanabeba pombe. Alafu wanaingisha kwa nyumba fulani fulani manyumba fulani fulani. Ndio CID wa pale ana mandevu, amevaa kanzu. Eh utajua amefunga ile nini yao hii ah tulibambwa. Mafuta kubambwa tukapelekwa na hivi police station walijaribu kutoa hiyo pombe waendeshe walijaribu kuendesha hiyo gari wakashindwa. Ni pombe walitoa waka transport exhibit tukapeleka out out jail out jail pale kuweko out jail pale ilikuwa mwezi pia wa Ramadhani kulikuwa kuzuri sababu chakula ilikuwa ni mingi marabu akuli amefunga sasa hawa arabu wengi tulikuwa nao wamechukua shikwa na tukrime tudogo tudogo hawataki food sio pale ile food wamekewa wewe una grab unachukua hata siku grab ni kuchukua tu na kuendelea tu tukaanza kuona iko tu sawa tukaanza kufanya appeals kufanya appeals tunafanya appeal ya nini unafanya appeal unaambua ngoja after 2 months si tuko sawa but kitu ilikuwa noma sana kitu ya ajabu ni punishment ya hao jamaa jela kitu iko huko ni ukuta mrefu ukuta mrefu alafu imepigwa ni kama vile nyumba upigwa plaster so wezi pa alafu hapa kuna shimo utaro utaro deep eh? alafu yani he, Mungu ni ajabu ina desert kuna mea nyasi very 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 nyasi, nyasi na kaka pet very green sasa tulikuwa tunaekwa ndani ya hiyo hiyo jela hiyo cell hiyo ni agorofa jela ni agorofa mnawekwa alafu mnafunguliwa AC baridi alternate current baridi kabisa baridi ile ya uja iskia alafu ikifika mahali mnaachiliwa nje mahali kuna hiyo sola hiyo joto mnaachiliwa sasa baridi na baridi na joto zikigongana hivi ah my friend hapo hapo kile utasikia wacha na mmepewa mpira mcheze unakibisha boli hivi ukirudi hivi unasikia hata unaanza kuona giza remember during all this time i'm supposed to be using my, my diabetes medicine si to me so most of the time nilikuja kuja nikiwa keroro ni kulala During all time nimekuwa tu on and off for see on and off for see and most, most cases ile kitu alikuwa ananifanyia ni kujaribu tu kuclear ku detoxify hiyo system yangu irudi clean na ku balance the, the, the hypertension na the blood sugars Little did I know that mimi najiingiza kwa shida zaidi sababu the more nilikuwa na kunywa hii kitu the more hata resistance ya mwili sikuwa nayo kidogo tu unasikia nimefanya vituko nimefanya vituko sasa hii me land into jail. Jaribu appeal, niko ni appeal ni upuzi ninafanya. Nikaamua kuru kutoka. Haya, nikajiandikiza hapo nikaambia sasa mimi nimekubali kuenda. Sasa hii appeal stage tena. Sasa siku ya kuenda sikafika. Air ticket iko ready. Mtu ulikuwa nimetumia Qatar Airlines Fly Emirates ndio idungwa KQ. KQ tena huko nyuma huko nyuma economic class niko huko nasema hivi rudi sawa siku ya kufika ikatoka siku ya kutoka ikafika kachukuliwa tukapelekwa airport kupelekwa airport hapa sasa mahali mnaachiwa no man's land ninyi mko pande hiyo wewe ukiacha na ndege yako shauri yako utajipanga kafungiwa ndani nikukuja sasa safari ya kuja huko sasa napiga hesabu surely sasa naenda wapi ndio mtaa hii mtaa ndio ku survive aje ah hii KQ hapa kuna tutaska hapa hapa kuna tupombe utu tu hizi kitu dogo leta 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 mimi nakuja tu nikijidunga tu najidunga tu najiweka na najiweka na najiweka nilifika airport nilikuwa nimebeba nimejiload ah, kama ujeona askari jeshi ukienda vita vile unakuwa umeka bullet huku zime, zimeenda hivi bullet bullet mushipi mushipi nilikuja zimejaa huku nikashuka airport kitu ya kwanza kushuka airport kuona mwangaza nilidunda hata ile kitu wanaangalia ka ice card na nini hiyo nilipita si kuona kitu ningeonea ningeonea wapi sawa so, nikashuka nje nikadunda ungenionea hata ungefikiria huu msia na kuanga tu huu msia na kuanga tu huku you don't expect mtu atoke majuu na hako tao kwa street ndi anatembea na niko mlevi sasa hiyo ajabu But the shocking thing is that when I got to my family when, when my wife, my wife first 
uh, saw me, she was really very shaken. She did believe that she's the same person who left a healthy person, sick but looking healthy. He's come back with scratches all over his face. He's come back with nothing. He's come back drunk. Uh, she was really very shaken. And I believe that kind of that trauma, uh, she's, she's been with it up to, up to when I decided to quit alcoholism, although it's not yet cleared completely. My relatives, my friends, everybody was scared about me. Because everybody who would, would just come across me, they were like, no, this is not, this is not headmaster that we knew. Yeah? And so many of them could ask me questions. Are the Filipinos No, it's a combination of everyone there. Because you will fight with everybody. Yeah? And uh, I remember my son, my firstborn son, could not be able even to talk to me. He was that shaken that, in fact, he started gaining confidence of talking to me after he finished high school. That's when he now he could talk because I was in a very bad state. I remember my aunt asking me, do you, do you realize that you have a problem? But I could not uh, accept that I have a problem with myself. I was that person with kiburi mingi, that ego, that... And me and William saying that you want to manage my things. But little did I know that I cannot manage these things on my own. I could not manage these things on my own. And the only thing that I thought of, ni kurudi ni forma kaka group ketu, tuanza kulewalewa na hawa majamaa tukipanga panga. God is good, but when I came back, I managed to get a job, huko muranga, ya kufudisha, a primary school called Phyllis Academy. But the, the, the money they would pay me, this is the only money that I would drink and drink and drink. The Kumbuka Moranga in Shaguni place, Kuna Baridi. So uh, I would get the little money every weekend. I would get some, you know, um, what do you call it? This is money that we were given uh, advance. I would get an advance every weekend. And this advance in Nikona is much yote. Come the next weekend, I've got another advance, and I smash you to... So at the end of the month, I had nothing on my hand. I had nothing on my pocket. And life continued. My shikansa kuendelea hivo. The same person who used to drink, akiwa Dubai, amerud back to zero, ameaza kukunyu wa hizi vitu zi, vitu zingini hata zina majina. Na nikaendelea, na nikaendelea kukunyuwa, health ikaendelea, ikombaya kabisa, and I have to take a job because now, this job I'm not adding value to my life. I'm not adding value to my family. I, my wife had gone to Meru. She had a shop, a boutique. Uh, and uh, I'm not adding value to my life. I'm not adding value to my family. My wife had gone to Meru. She had a shop, a boutique. I come join. I can accept to I come join after I come to Meru. 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 Na hii drinking habit, ah, ni mbaya. But, kuena meru, ni kampangisha. Na hiyo mpango ni mpangisha ni kuuza second hard clothes. Na hika ingia na very well. Very well. Yusu wako nilienda ya first TV, it's a place called Pole Pole, kuweka tu mzigo yangu hivi, customers walija. Customers walija. By 2, 3 p.m. nime, nime, nime handu chapa. So, hii pesa, haina plan kwa wangu. Sina plan ya hido. So, ni pesa hii ni pangisha vile kufanya. Aze kunipangisha kuningia kwa wakili ni the next door yenye imefunguliwa. Wacha nikae hapo nikichora chora. Nikichora chora na chora nini ni kuchora nikiitisha. Hizo drinks tu bado naendelea nikaendelea kulewa lewa. In fact at the end of the day hiyo job ilianguka. Nilijipata na na an mtu alikuwa anatoka hapo na kwa soko yoyote ile naenda around 2 3000 na jipata natoka hapo na 100 ya fare. All the rest nimeacha kwa counter. Nisha peana si na yeye. So kama mziko niko nako kanaendelea kudinimia. Bye if bado anangangana anapata tunguo hapa kule hapa kule tu viatu tunakaeka hapo kwa soko yeye yeah, kwa kwa shop. Yeye yeah, anarun the family. Yeye yeah, anarun systems. Yeye yeah, anarun everything ambayo actually kwa supposed to be to be done yeye yeah, ndiye alikuwa anafanya. Eh siku moja nilikuwa nimekaa tu tukiwa na jamaa moja tulikuwa tunauza yeye yeah, anauza alikuwa anauza viatu mimi nauza manguo mchanganyiko wangu na viatu. Akaniambia and by the way hapa kwa mheshimiwa Eh, kuna vacancy ya sales people. Nikamuliza ati umesemaji. Eh, watu wanachoro wa jobu. 
Ai, ngawambia bana, you are you, you, serious. Sasa hiyo nilikuwa nimeonja onja tu vitutu wangu hapo nje. Eh, zilinipatia saik nikakimbia mpaka kwa hiyo ofisi, nikauliza nika ati muna, muna, muna vacancy ya sales people eh, nilikuwa mlevi. Wakaniambia eh, what you need to do? Drop your CV. Ivo. Ah. Come the following morning. Nilikuwa nimekusanya kusanya nimepanga panga watu nishatengeza CV yangu upya na nime drop kwa hiyo kampuni. Nikaitwa interview. Kuitwa interview nikapata job. Kupata job nikakuwa salesman again kwa hiyo area. Sasa nikarudia ile maisha yangu ya kitambo ya kuwa salesman mtu wa field. Mtu wa field niko na pesa every Monday ya kufiwa ile pikipiki, niko na pesa. Yaani ya airtime sababu ngo unapewa cash wendo jinulie airtime ya kucommunicate na customers and all that. So, ha. Pikipiki tukiwa na jamaa alikuwa akoe akinibeba tukajipanga tukajiri tukaanza kugawana hii pesa akaniambia hii pikipiki sikujarishe mimi nakupatia do fulani na yeye atabaki na do fulani mafuta atajua vile atajipanga haya kujibu kuniambia hivyo sasa si mimi nimekuwa comfortable pesa nimepata sasa sasa hata nikiingia kwa club yenye connect tu hapo wenye walikuwa na nini nikiuza nguo sasa wanaona mimi salesman nimefunga tie hapa eh hey, wanaona yenyewe jamaa mambo imebadilika so hata nikiitisha leta hata na deni haiko kuwa kazi kubwa Nikaendelea tu bado hivyo hivyo na tabia yangu hosi oh, chokoria hospital one week Sasa health yangu imekuwa sasa ni mpaka nikae nikipanga pango nikipanga pango chokoria hospital a week Ai so it reached a point my wife akakuwa so she so down she so shaken she had to go for counseling she she has to look for help before I seek for help but during all that time the other time nikiwa meru aliniguza ali mahali akaniambia sasa if you don't seek for help me and you tuko tutapata ways we so we went to seek for help in madare uh, mental hospital kwa rehab na nika, nikakuwa mkali sana nikimuuliza kwa nini unanipeleka kwa majizi yeah because i didn't know that uh, alcoholism has a lot to do with mental functions Tukaenda madhare but nika humble myself nikakubali the first one week kuingia madhare nilikuwa nilikaa na wenda wazimu. Wenda wazimu kabisa wale wazimu watu walisema kama ule mwazimu ule ni wazimu ule anakotaa takataka ule anafanya au nilikaa nao for one week mpaka ndio manasi wakalia Raisala hapana this guy as you kama hawa yeah, because wale wamechorewa kama rango kwa ukuta jamaa wanaenda kufungana kufungua matoke wao imechorwa tu ndioone hapo ndio unaweza pata freedom ya kutoka. But mimi nilikuwa na kaa tu nimezubaa. Kuoga tulikuwa tunaoga nje mahali komino. Komino maji inaekwa kwa tank, kitangi kimekatwa around muoge mnapewa ka slice ka sabuni, <laughs> mpige shawa. So tulikuwa tunapiga shawa siko nimeanza kuvaa uniform. Alafu naenda kwa jua na relax. Hao kisha wako wanaanza kupiga raundi. Lab tu kwa, 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 kwa kiwanja fulani. Hii imekuwa first. Kuna wards karibu 9 wards. Si mimi nilikuwa ward 6. So wanapiga lab tu hapo nje wanapiga tu lab hapo mimi nikaa mpaka nasi akaona hapana huyu mzee yako na tofauti akaniuliza na wewe shida yako ni nini unakuja kuvisit wewe eh. wakati wife ameingia kule nani wanaongea nao it's about it's about rehabilitation ya alcoholism mimi niko hapo nje hapa kule hapa kule kamari kamari karata tukigawa mkate na machizi ndio mpaka <laughs> nikakuja kulia raise that hiyo process ya pale sio rahisi as as many people as people would think so nika pita step 1 niko uh, ward 6 ward 6 ndio tumechanganywa bali unapata mzee apendi kulala kwa kitana anapenda kulala chini ya bed uh, wengine wataki kutembea amesimama anataka atembee chini ya vitanda aende paka kule mzee niliona drama mingi sana hapo <laughs> nikatoka hapo nikaenda amenity after amenity kuka amenity at least ilikuwa at least conducive kidogo kuna kuoga mnaoga asubuhi very early in the morning saa kumi na moja. Na jamaa hapo alikuwa anatuamsha very early in the morning watu waoge watu waoge watu waoge piga ah, baridi hiyo <laughs> na jiuliza kweli swali hii ali pombe tu hii unafanya nipitie hii mambo yote hii watu waoge saa kumi na moja asubuhi na hakuna mali mnaenda ni muoge mkae mngoje uji saa ine hiyo baridi imekugonga Haya after uji na mnakaa tu kwa kiwanja tu hakuna activity mmekaa tu Nikatoka amenity nikatoka amenity mnalala 6 Yeye ni kind of nikajala fulani mnalala 6 milango kichafungwa ni hivyo mpaka kesho tena asubuhi 
mtajua mtatoka nikatoka minute nikaanza rehab yenyewe nikaanza plus uh, process ya rehabilitation tukaendelea 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 kwa mtu mzuri sana nikajiambia vitu mingi sana there are so many things that i promised myself that at least at one day nikiwa hapo kwa rehab nilikuwa najiambia i'll become a counselor i want to meet these people ni waeleze the side effects ya e alcoholism ni madhara yake health wise mentally ndipo nalala dombi dombi was one of the best ikafika mahali ikakuwa niko so 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 well zata nitakuwa after wenye walikuwa wakitoka mimi ndio itakuwa the next chief wa kusimamia the entire rehab rehabilitation rehab center but during that period nurses waligoma nurses kugoma tukaambiwa kila mtu home kila mtu home so si kumaliza hiyo 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 program si kumaliza program nikatoka nje na remember wakati nilifungulia simu because there are no phones nilipata kampuni ilikuwa inaniekea do So I called my friend ambaye alikuwa ametoka mbele yetu na tukarilaps immediately after tulipatana na my friend tulirilaps na tukarilaps seriously sababu nilimuonesha mtaa tukaanza kukunywa nikarudi job na nikaendelea bado na pombe after kwenda na pombe do you mambo ya hospitali every now and then becoming sick uh, now ndio nikuja ku make the real turn my real turning point ilikuwa within one year that was the third time nenda hospitali but not one year in a span of four months i think dionen najipana niko osi niko st john's hospital niko st john's hospital reason being nimekunywa nimeshindwa kukula nimeshindwa kutembea mimi hiyo niko kwa kitanda throughout wife akaniambia hapana sasa mahali imefika you need you need to go to the hospital nikaenda hospitali nikalazwa tena mpaka daktari sawa akaanza kuchoka because wanachoka wanaona huu mtu ni kila dakika ako hapa kila dakika ako hapa kana next time hata usikuje hakuna haja you just stay home and die you yeah, stay home and die how my my wife had showed me a certain clip yeah certain uh mtu wa ben motivate sana solomon kilanga nikakuwa nimeangalia hiyo story yake vile amepitia ame mayale yote amepitia and i remember oh, before niende hospital the last time nikamwambia wife wangu hebu nione hiyo hiyo kitu unaniambia hapa niangalie niangalie nikaiangalia nika, nika uh, pitia through story ya Solomon Kilanga mahali alitoka mahali hiyo pombe imemfikisha na nikaona kweli tuli make some sense the same week nikakuwa nimeenda hospitali nikaambia my wife go find out where GLC is hiyo place ya Solomon Kilanga inaitwa GLC that's the place i want to know where it is i feel i need a break i need a holiday because this has become too much ndio wakaenda mpaka GLC iko mahali inaitwa Bikumari Wiru eh in GLC ndio wakaelezewa steps zote zile zinafaa mtu anafaa kupitia the procedures and all that siku ya kuwa discharged from the hospital siku rudi home nilienda GLC and the moment niliingia GLC nilikuwa welcomed the welcome yenye nilipewa ni ya kiunguungu ni mamba na Mungu uh, nikaonyeshwa the way i've become um, alcohol it may take over everything in me and i become unmanageable nikaanza kufunzwa nikaanza kukua molded na the more nilikaa ndio nikaoneshwa kuna the greater power the greater power that will restore me to sanity they will restore me to who i was that brand name that i had been given by the society because i had lost my way completely i had lost my way that blood name that has been given can can be brushed off and i can go back to who i was before those years that i feel that zimepotea i can still they can still be brought back to me in a very special way ndio ni call that unmanageability yenye bwana nilikuwa nayo to do my own things you can imagine you become unmanageable mpaka kuoga it's become a problem yani buying a an inner wear ya 50 or 100 shillings was a problem was a big problem it was like a climbing mount everest and it's something that you can do comfortably but now since i have got really my my life in alcoholism it become a problem brushing my teeth 
would become a problem now in the dlc wakaanza kunionesha the way i can go back to my to the rail alcohol kills it's poison it's a real poison it affects someone's mind someone's brain it affects our families it affects the society you've seen people you can imagine a whole mzee amelala kwa barabara ati nikulewa amelewa ame blackout you see in affect brain una lose mpaka balance balance in all that you do yeah unapata mlevi anaongea inafunga mpaka hiyo communication ina create some barriers maneno hayezi toka vizuri so please the society should know that this thing is not the best mtu akikwambia ati oh nda ati hii inaniletea inaweza fikiria kama kabla kabla ni kunywa siezi fikiria hiyo ni upuzi mtupu that's uh, that's stupidity and you don't have to listen to this kind of person this kind of a conversation because this person is a fool he will pull back, pull you to his level and beat you with his foolishness we, are, we know you know that <coughs> Yes we, we we went drinking we took our way we went our way drinking we fell but we should focus on how high we bounce not how far we fell but how 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 high are we going to bounce back we need to have that resilience bouncing back coming back and being the best role model to the society being the best picture because we are the ones who've been there we are the people who have tested it we are the people who have felt it now we need to tell people we need to reach out to those people out there and because you will stick to that alcoholism and at the end of the day you'll be the loser it doesn't mean that because you are drinking the day you die yeah we will stop working we will continue working we will continue working tramkia job and tutachapa job utakufa na tutakuzika immediately the same day you die jioni tutakwen kutapikwa chai na mikate tanunuliwa and we'll send you off we send you off we bury you you know what i've come to realize what i've come to know uh down deep six feet there are so many pirates there are so many engineers there are so many architects ambao wamejangamia tu yeah because they went their way drinking some of us some of you guys who are out there drinking maybe you went out there because you didn't know now you know that there is hope there is a future you don't need to go that way drinking change just have a turning point yeah like when you go to the the other the steps of the aa step number three, you make you, you make a turn to god you make a turn and you know that there is a living god yeah go to step number four, do a self searching know yourself because if, even if you go to 100 million rehabs even if a thousand bishops comes to tell you at this is not good before you make your own decision it will be a waste of time make that change make that accept that calling yeah when i walked out of dlc one thing that really changed is that there was a lot of joy in my house everybody was happy everybody welcomed me like uh, everybody wanted to hug me and uh, i felt that great change that even the way i used to communicate to my wife the way i used to talk to my wife had changed and was asking myself what is happening yeah why is it that uh, she the her reaction the way you talk to her before she would be very alert because something could come up maybe a harsh word maybe I would just walk off now here she is she's very humble listening and asking me what do you what do you really want today to have for supper what 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 where do you want to go tomorrow you know there was that joy because things had changed yeah and uh, when she, she couldn't believe that it the same person who never even talked of prayers here i am requesting for a prayer yeah here i am asking how the day was the person who never cared the person who never really cared at all at all at all at all and he is the person we are having a walk and somebody is commenting hey what happened you look changed today you need to be very smart what are you doing for a living you know not the society is coming back there is that a comeback that i felt accepted 
and everyone accepted me. Since I left GLC, I've come to realize that uh, I have a meaning in, in my life. I have a meaning in my uh, in family. And I've come to realize that somebody out there uh, really needs me because we, we, we know that uh, when we want to fight the alcoholism, you can't do it on your own. I believe I have a feeling, I have a calling to touch that someone's life out there, to visit that somebody who needs to be told something. Because uh, like when I left GLC, I visited several uh, rehab centers, for example, the Oasis Hospital, uh, GLC itself, I've been back there. I've been to Serenity Place. I've been to Nueva Esperanza. I've been to uh, Wonder Peace in Ruiru, and I've come to realize that these people, we need to be together. So I can't stay on my own and keep the potential that I have to myself. My feeling is that I need to go out there. I need to talk with these people. I need to share. That's what we call, we call sharing. And that was what I'm actually doing because I'm fighting for my own health. When I share with them, I feel I'm cured. I'm getting better and better, better and better. And I feel that I'm going back to my step. It's like life has come to an end. I feel I'm born again person. I feel so fresh that I can be able to be who I was before. The headmaster that was in that school that I was teaching is back with a bang. He's back in full force, in mighty, yeah? Such that I won't I wouldn't want to see someone go astray because women train na kale mbogi huko nyuma nataka sisi tusonge na tufike mahali ambapo naona kuna mwangaza the tunnel was so very dark but now naona kuna lightning mapali ime, imefunguka na imefunguka in a mighty way and I thank god and people should know that there is possibility there is that high possibility 100% possibility of everyone who wants to change to get back to the track.